morning, everybody. I think I'm good. I think I'm online. I think I'm live. So um, good morning. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Um, if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Ashley. I am the transaction coordinator here at Lake Life Realty. Um, let's do a weather check. Right now it's 10.02 on Wednesday and the weather could be better, but it also could be worse. So um, I wonder what it's going to do the rest of the day. Not really sure, but um, I wanted to hop on this morning, give you guys some updates on our Client Choice Charity Program as usual. Um, I have a really good one in store today, all new charities, um, ones that we have not donated to before. So really excited to tell um, all of you about it this morning. So if you're not familiar with our Client Choice Charity Program, uh, for every transaction we close, whether it's a buyer or a seller, we donate a portion of our commission to a charity of our clients choosing. Um, since my last live a couple weeks ago, we've donated to nine different charities. Um, in order to keep it brief, because I could go on all day long talking about this, um, I'm going to share four of the newest charities with you today. Um, some of the nine that we donated to are repeats that I've talked to you guys about before. So I'm trying to keep it fresh and new um, and tell you guys about the new ones. So um, my computer's doing something crazy, as usual. Um, so we're going to start off with um, a charity in Ithaca, New York. It's called Stable Work. Um, Stable Work is a nonprofit organization, and they specialize in job readiness training for individuals who could use some support. Um, they provide comprehensive curriculum and support learning, um, and a supportive learning and um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, they they provide a, a stable, um, inclusive learning environment. Um, they help with workplace skills, um, like problem solving, taking initiative, being a team player and a team leader, um, and they focus on communication as well. Um, this organization focuses specifically on doing like routine horse care, doing barn chores, um, wood, woodworking and even gardening. Um, they focus on these things because they want to prepare these individuals to go into the workforce to do um, animal care at veterinary facilities or rescue farms or um, or collegiate um, collegiate animal programs, that type of thing. Um, like I said, it is up. Um, it is located in upstate um, upstate New York. Wow, I'm really struggling this morning, you guys. Um, and their goal is to help these individuals develop these skills to prepare them to go into that field. Um, on behalf of our clients, we donated two hundred fifty dollars. And if you would like to learn more about stable work or would like to contribute to their cause, please visit their website at www.stablework.org. Um, our next charity of the morning is Dovetail Learning. Um, it's located in Occidental, California. Um, I've never heard of it, but it, apparently it's like north of San Francisco from what I saw. Um, this is a nonprofit organiza organization dedicated to helping adults and children become their best selves through fostering resilience internally and their relationships with their communities. Um, Dovetail Learning works within homes, schools, companies, health clinics, many other organizations so communities can foster wellness together. They help, um, they help people learn. Um, they have many different educational programs that, like I said, can be used in the home, in different organizations, in corporate settings, that type of thing. Um, so on behalf of our clients, we donated $300 to Dovetail Learning. And if you are interested in donating, if you would like some more information about their learning programs, um, please visit www.dovetaillearning.org. And our final charity of the morning, um, this is going to be a little bit of a long one because I found a lot of really good information on this one, um, and I thought it would be fun to share. So this charity is called, called 413 Strong. Um, it's a six to eight week residential program uh, located in Nashville, Tennessee. 
Um, and it focuses on equipping men to succeed personally and professionally. So the program has a really hands-on approach where they are 100% involved in the men's daily lives and work towards um, fostering a creative and supportive environment um, for them to live and learn as well. Uh, to uh, It was very interesting to read. So to apply for this program, um, the participants actually complete a week of physical and mental conditioning that they call mental toughness week. Um, and they are pushed out of their comfort zones with a series of um, challenges that were curated to test their character under pressure. Um, and that's just to apply to be in the program. So um, that's, a, that's a tough start. But um, while they're in the program, these men spend time in classrooms each day where they focus on financial literacy, work readiness, construction skills. Um, uh, they have um, um, other types of skills training and they even participate in a Bible study as well. Uh, while they're in the program, these participants visit job sites and learn three construction industry certifications um, as well as participate in service projects, community service projects, um, and go on adventure outings as well. Um, this was very cool. In order to graduate from the program, um, the participants must have had four months of continuous employment. Um, all court fees um, and fines are paid in full. Um, they have acquired or reinstated a driver's license. Um, they have purchased a vehicle and car insurance with cash and have um, put together a $1,500 self-emergency fund. Um, I think this is a really, really awesome program. Um, it seems very, very challenging, but from what I saw on their website and other, um, other testimonials, people, it really has been life-changing for a lot of people. So I think that's really, really amazing. Um, we donated $200 to support uh, 413 Strong on behalf of our clients. Um, so we love that. Um, and like I said, this is the last charity of the morning, but since my last live, we've donated $1,850 in support of um, local, national, and international charities. And that makes a total of $13,700 donated since the beginning of the year. So I love seeing that, that total grow, grow, grow as the year goes on. Um, I'm excited to see where we end up at the end of the year. So I hope all of you have a really, really great afternoon, a really great week, and I will see you in a couple weeks.